Why, hello! My name is Tim Schmoyer, and welcome to another Q&A Thursday where we just answer your questions about online video, YouTube, audience development, whatever I can help you with surrounding those types of things. If you have a question that you would like me to answer in an upcoming video, you can either post it as a comment or post it on our Facebook page or best option yet, you can send me your video of you asking your question and I'll put your face like right here and we can talk. The link to do that is in the description text below this video. This week's question comes from Miss Diaper D because Dana, every week you comment on these Q&A videos saying how much you like them and how they're the probably the highlight of your week. I'll take it that far, I guess. <laughs> Tim, how did you create your lower third? Can you do a tutorial on that? Yeah, I can show you how I make mine. They're pretty simple to make, actually. I do mine right inside of Premiere. You can also do them in After Effects if you have more skills and more times, but I usually just like quick, dirty, simple, plain and just kind of go for it type of approach and so this is what I do so just for the sake of this demonstration I'm using a video I took at VidCon last year uh, with Arturo Trejo and I'm just gonna show you how I do this so um, I start here and I just go to title and uh, it doesn't really matter what you put here it should automatically detect everything just you know I'll just put it you know lower third I guess for kicks hit OK and then this is basically just where I make the entire lower third, uh, just right in here. Uh, so first of all, the way I, let's make a simple one. Let's just like grab this tool and let's just say we're going to, you know, maybe make it like, maybe about like that. Back to the arrow, maybe slide this out a little bit, but I also don't want it, uh, let me make it a little bit longer too. Kind of hit up the roll of two thirds a little bit. And then... Uh, let's say I probably don't want it to be quite that, um, you know, I want it to be a little bit transparent, so maybe I'll make it like 70, uh, and then I'll maybe add a little outer stroke to it, that's a little bit too thick, so let me make that maybe like 3, uh, maybe 4, or, yeah, 4 or 5, something like that. Um, so now I have that, and then I'll just come here, get my text, and, uh, our true and uh, I don't want I selected all the text and then I don't want that outline so I'm going to de-click outer stroke and I'm probably going to make this you know some sort of uh, shade of gray a dark shade of gray and uh, I don't usually like this font just to make it like uh, Gotham or something like that and repos oops wrong one Reposition it. That's gonna be too big. Let's just shrink it down a little bit. Yeah, something like that. And I'm gonna leave some space intentionally over here so I can slide it in and out and animate it without it looking too weird. Now the other thing to make sure see how this text is a little bit dark. This one I want to make sure is in the background. So I'm going to go to arrange and send to back. That looks like it already was. Uh, I also don't want this opacity. To be a 70, I want that to be a hundred. There. And then I'll also just come down here and take maybe like another one. And I'll just put like youtube.com slash uh, Mr. Arturo Trejo. He's getting some uh, good free uh, publicity here for me right now. <laughs> He'll go change this maybe to light. And I'm going to shrink it down a bit bit so it's maybe closer to maybe 32 and let's put that like underneath there now a little trick here is you just like both of these hold down sh uh, shift or, uh, and click that one now I have these and I can come over here and force them to align so I want them to align on the right edge so, or, so I'm going to click there and that will adjust that. You could put artwork here if you wanted, if you had like a channel logo uh, or you know a, an emblem or something, you could do that. And then I just come out here and I'll just drop it on right here, just like that. So if you wanted to animate it, then uh, you just go click on that um, text you just added. And here you're going to keyframe a little bit. Let's just say um, yeah, like... One, two, three, four, five frames in. That's where I want it. So I'll drop a keyframe there. I'll go back to the beginning and just slide it out. And so that now when the video plays, it'll just slide in. See? Just like that. And then I can uh, do the same thing to reverse it to, you know, make it slide out. Let's say one, two, three, four, five frames in. 
I'll just go back here, copy this keyframe position, and paste it to the end. And so now it slides out the same way it came in. Simple as that. You can use that title editor in Premiere to pretty much make any shape or design that you would like to have for your lower third or anything else really. There really isn't too many limits to it. This is just a really basic simple one that I just use quickly because I can put it together easily for almost any project I'm working on. So I hope this helps and guys make sure you leave your questions for future videos and I would love to invite you to subscribe if this is your first time here. Every week we answer your questions about YouTube and stuff like that and then on Tuesday Tuesdays, we look at online video news and talk about what it means for those of us who are video creators. And on Wednesdays, what do we do on Wednesdays? We do YouTube tips and advice and just to help you guys who have a message, know how to communicate it so that it reaches the people that really need to hear what you have to say. I love helping you guys do that. So subscribe and I will see you guys again next week. Bye.